So we have created a number of quadrilaterals here, and they all belong to the family of quadrilaterals. But I thought we'd explore how closely these different quadrilaterals are related. Let's take a look at this one. This is our common quadrilateral. None of its angles are the same. None of its sides are the same. But it is a quadrilateral because it's a closed polygon and it has four sides. Now as I take a look at this one, this is our square. And our square has all the sides the same. All the angles are 90 degree angles. Uh, it, is, it is very specifically defined as a square. It seems to be a very distant relative of the common quadrilateral. Well, I wonder where these other shapes fit within these relationships. So here are some things I notice about what we have left. I notice that all of these quadrilaterals that we have left to choose from have at least one set of parallel sides, except the kite. The kite doesn't seem to have any, so let's put the kite maybe right over here. Not sure about that one. But the rest of these have some parallel sides. In fact, the trapezoid has one set of parallel sides. These aren't parallel, but it's got one set. So it seems to be, out of everything that's left, the most closely related to the common quadrilateral. So let's just put an arrow here to that one. Now let's look at what else we have here. I would say that the rectangle is pretty closely related to the square because it has 90 degree angles and it has two sets of, you know, pairs of parallel sides. It's just got, you know, the sides have some different sizes. So it seems very closely related to the square. So we're going to draw an arrow here. Now the thing is, is that the rhombus also seems closely related to the square to me because it has four sides the same length, just like the square does. So let's put it here. And it's also close to the square. Now all we have left is the parallelogram. And I'm gonna put that parallelogram here in the middle. What I can see is that everything here below it has two pairs of parallel sides, just like the parallelogram. So I think the parallelogram is related to the rectangle because of that, but also closely related to the rhombus. Now we just have this kite. Well, I think it's related to the common quadrilateral because it has no parallel sides at all. So let's put an arrow here. And, hmm, I think, you know, it could be considered related to the rhombus because it does have pairs of sides that are equal in length, um, that are adjacent to one another. So we could put an arrow here. This is the family tree of quadrilaterals. We start up here where the least defined quadrilateral and the different definitions and relationships all the way down to our most defined quadrilateral, the square. I wonder if we took these quadrilaterals off, if you could put them back or think through all these relationships again. 